Hello, I'm Sig Solo. Welcome to my channel. Today is Sample Saturday number 21 and today I have a vintage racer for you to see. You saw, or you might have seen the thumbnail. It's the Enders Speed Racer. This, as you see up here, it's the square hole. And that means that it's from uh, mid to late 40s maybe beginning of the 50s. If it has more of a rounded hole here, it's from the 30s. So this is a newer version almost. It's more than 80 years old or 80 years old. In it, I have inserted an injector blade. One of my trusted Chic injector blades is in it. And how did I do that? I used the adapter that then last that then you can buy from last shadow through Hendrix shaving and uh, Hendrix classics and co's homepage he makes this adapter with the magnets and then you put it in because this uses a pr proprietary rate plate that hasn't been used made since the late 50s or early 60s so they are hard to come by they are very expensive and they are old so this is a new blade uh, put in an ejector blade through the um, adapter. That's it. Okay, the soap for today, this being, oh, wait a second. This is a 33, almost 32.7 grams razor. Total length of it is exactly four inches. This part until here and down is exactly three inches. So that's great. The soap for today is Capson's Choice uh, Italia, and that's an almond scented soap. Great, great scent. Almond, 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 no cherries whatsoever. Almond, 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 and it's really, it's really like, it's almost marzipan. Well, I would say it is marzipan. I'm using uh, the Yachi Freedom Italia brush with the 24 millimeter synthetic cashmere knot in it that they very kindly sent to me from Yachi. Thank you, Yachi. Um, and I'm using the obsidian ball that I bought and was the reason I was sent the sample. So thank you to Captain's Choice for sending me the sample too. And that's about it, I think. I am a little anxious to use this because it's an 80, about 80 year old, years old razor and I haven't had extreme an extreme amount of good luck with the injectors. So, and I haven't used it at all. So, mm, this is a nice scent. It's like, it's like, like putting marzipan on my face. It's very very strong. It's a, it's a six or a seven. I would say it's a seven. Man. When you see the Italia and you see the Italian flag, you might expect it to be some kind of a papa shop scent. That's what I expected. So when I set up this shave. I put up a barber shop scented aftershaves and so on. And then I changed it up a little when I actually smelled the soap because I hadn't. So, and my daughter told me that this is a favorite scent. I just, she just had a sniff before I started the video and she said, that's my favorite scent. Okay, wish me luck. Thank you. Okay, I don't know to go about the angle. I think this is about it. Almost flush with the face. This feels almost... It's not nice. It feels tucking like I don't know what. This blade is not... I just told you it was a new blade but it actually isn't. It actually has three uses, I think, to it. So, oh, that's better. 
Now I, maybe it was the angle. This is okay now. So they got the patent. Enders got the patent for this race of the head in 1930, and then the patent for this handle in January 1931. They started off with a, a gem, a kind of baton handle each that you screwed in the bottom, and then they made this. And one of their ideas was that it's, it's called a speed racer because it's a one piece. One of the first one pieces ever, and all you do is click the blade in, and then you're ready to go. So that's why it's called speed. Uh, they also patented the S-shaped handle, you see, this. And that has to do with the way you hold the razor. You know, it's, you know, it's uh, ergonomical, you might call it. So. I have seen people making their own adapters for this, taking an old blade and filing down the cutting edge of it and then putting a D, half DE blade in or an ejector blade. So it's possible. But when I saw this, that this, uh, I cannot speak today, I'm sorry, that this adapter was made by Ian Last Shadow, is his internet name. I thought, well, less fiddling around, you know, it is a sharp blade, and so maybe I can finally get a shave, a, sh a, a shave from an 80-year-old razor using an ejector blade without tearing off my face. I usually overshave, gets and get a lot of irritation when I use the modern um, injector razors. So, speaking of injector razors, I saw that Bull Goose has, is making, is testing a uh, Asylum razor with injector blades in it, with a little smaller head uh, to use injector blades in it, and I cannot wait to try that too. So, I find that very innovative. So, second pass, the money pass against the growth. Nice. It's really, really nice feeling. I feel the blade all the time, but not in a medicine way. Way. It's not very blade feeling. Quite the opposite, actually. But I feel the blade, so I can feel when I'm cutting. And I don't know if you can too. This is nice. The S shape is really working when I do this this direction. That's really, really nice. So...
These razors can be found for fifteen to twenty five dollars on eBay. So depending on the state, the condition of the razor. This was sold to me by one of my shaving friends. He has become quite a good friend. Tobin. To Tobin Fetters from Tobin's Throwbacks. He sold me this and look at this. It's stunning. It's like new, really. And it's almost 80 years old, man. So, I wrote him, do we have, where do I find a good ender speed razor and what to look for? And he said, well, I have one and I'll happily sell it to you. So, here you have it. And so he did, shipped it to me. So, that's. I don't know if I just managed to cut myself, but I was just about to say this is by far the most comfortable shave I've ever gotten from an injector blade. So, I've heard people say that this is very aggressive. Not to me. Not to me it wasn't. When I first got the angle, at the beginning of the shave, I hit the wrong angle, so this is your captain speaking. Please be seated, put your table to an upright position, close your eyes and wash your face. Man, this is nice. Fantastico, fantastico. So tell me, do we have one of these old ones? Do we have one from the 30s with the rounded hole in it? Or do we have one with a square hole? Or do you hate it? Or Tell me in the comments. I like this very much. HCNC, the boss man's towel. Oh, I really like this towel. So, the aftershave. I had nothing with almonds in it, but I have something with a scent that's a little over there. It's with the vanilla. So this is the Pinot Klopman, the classic vanille. So let's give that a go. I know it will burn. Oh, that's actually not bad. That's actually, oh, that's a fantastic shave. Man, all I need now is a top hat and a vest and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, damn. The balm is this, 5-in-1 Aqua Velva, sensitive. Why? Because it has a nose. That's it. I don't have anything almoni. Had I known, I would have tried to get maybe some, some of the red cellar. Not cella, it's Italian, cella. Okay. So a wonderful shave. Wonderful, wonderful shave. So, you know what I'm about to say? Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And you know why I do this? I do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Six Solo, signing out.